Hey guys, this is going to be a very quick video because I need to get this out to you ASAP here. I think we're going to experience quite an interesting weekend, possibly a nice bullish breakout over the weekend here. Uh, you can see that the MDX ELGO 3 on the daily, at least on the scalp settings, it has actually got a long signal. And it's interesting that that happened right after we got a daily candle body closing above this wick here. Uh, that's just a nice, uh, nice box here. A lot of confluence there in the fact that this is happening here. Uh, zoom right into the five minute I mean uh, this is looking absolutely beautiful uh, that we're getting such a nice bounce off that level you can see we're trying to break out so uh, one thing's for certain guys uh, proceed with caution because this can get volatile very volatile both directions I mean we could drop all the way back towards 20k and still have this upwards uh, channel or uh, this upward price action still valid so uh, just proceed with caution because I know everyone and myself included loves using degenerate amounts of uh, of leverage and that kind of thing but uh yeah just like i said guys this could get volatile both directions and i'm just looking at it as i think that bitcoin's forming some very nice structure i've been vocal about this for a very long time now that i think we are going to if not if we haven't bottomed as a whole at this market cycle i really think that it's time for some sort of a nice relief rally and i'm not talking a relief rally that's a couple days I, i'm thinking this is going to be a nice swing to the upside uh, some targets to look out for i think 23k was on my my radar I really think that we would start testing some of these higher Fibonacci's um, at least the 618 I think would make a lot of sense because we do have this structure here as well uh, so those are just a couple of targets that might be worth looking at guys of course none of this is financial advice always do your own research and uh, like I said guys just uh, have your head on a swivel because things could get very volatile both directions and uh, yeah, uh, I already I outlined why I thought we were bullish the other day after we had Fed news and we didn't break below 20K. We kept holding our support there. I have a nice long on the go right now uh, from down around, I think it was 20.2K. So I am very happy with that and I love the way Bitcoin's moving. I've been scaling out of my position, but uh, I love the way that it's looking right now and how this is playing out. I think this daily chart could actually uh, finally get some of that momentum to the upside that everyone's been craving. Well, I shouldn't say everyone because a lot of people really wanted lower prices and were shorting into support, which I warned you guys about that I didn't think it was a good idea to short into support with uh, all these bullish divergences I've been pointing out on other videos. If you guys appreciate these warnings, uh, for these uh, early bullish war uh, signals, I guess I've been giving you guys over the past, I don't know, few weeks now at this point, if not a month, saying that I really thought we were time to uh, start uh, sniping longs. When I'm scalping trades right now, I'm only looking at the long side. I've had no interest in sh taking shorts at these levels. Because you know what, at the end of the day, we're just trading at a very strong support box all the way back to June. And the fact that we had so many different bullish divergences I've been pointing out, I've just been very uh, vocal about being remaining bullish on this trend. Um, everything looks good to me, so I'm going to pump out this video ASAP for you guys. Again, one more time, if you appreciate these quick market updates, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you haven't. With that, stay safe, my friends. Peace. Yeah.